Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and at long last, I'd like to welcome you to the end of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. In the past couple of episodes, we spent our time fighting tooth and nail to get to the front gates of Bowser's Castle, and boy, I'll tell you, those were some rough times, but you know what? We made it. And we're here, and in between recording sessions, I went ahead and I took a sneak peek at what this boss had to offer, just to give myself a brief refresher since each one usually has some sort of twist or gimmick. And I'm really glad I did because there were certainly quite the twist, quite the curveball this guy throws at us, and uh, not a big fan of it. And although that was about a week ago, uh, I'm still hoping that, you know, maybe we'll prevail, but check it out. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful, and I'm so excited. This is going to be hard. So make sure, once again, before entering the cannon, you choose who you want to fight with. And this is one we're going to need to be very aggressive, but we need to stay as healthy as we possibly can. So I thought about having Luigi. I thought he would have been a good choice, but he simply is too weak. He's too much of a glass cannon, although he doles out the damage, he gets ganged up on real quick, which is something you might want to take into consideration when choosing your party. So Rapid Mario might be a good choice, but at the same time, I'd rather have Peach. And when I say I'd rather have Peach, it means I'd also rather have Rabbit Peach. So this is going to be our group, and let's hope we can prevail, prepare, prepare to prevail with this and head into uh, the world's longest launching uh, cannon right over here. It's very similar to Mario World 3D. Mario's 3D World? That one. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh no, we gotta help Bowser. Oh, he could have licked that thing himself, but uh, something happened to him. He had a, he had a sour warhead. Now well, we're too late then. We should return to Princess Peach's castle and marshal our forces. <laughs> nah, now he's feeling sorry for himself. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I present the ultimate boss, Mega Dragon Bowser. The only thing standing between us and the sweet taste of victory within the palms of our sweaty plumber's glove. <laughs> Welcome to the final fight. With absolutely no time to waste, Mr. Kirkhope hits it out of the park with another fantastic score to end the game. And although it's a little safe in parts, it definitely crescendos and is just as frantic as you'd want it to be. So. Uh, we have four Valkyries right off the bat, and Mega Dragon himself uh, is very dangerous. He has the Rumble Bang that will typically burn you, and look at that illustration. That is a work of beauty. That is insane. Oh, I love it. But he also has a Magnet Dance and a Villain Shot, and I am not looking forward to taking out 4,800 points of health within the next seven turns in order to get a perfect run because this guy is rough and at the end of his second phase uh, he is going to have basically a one hit kill which is why these indestructible covers are going to be extremely important so nothing out of the ordinary we're starting with the M power we have to and for all things being considered I do think we're gonna start with Rabbit Peach I do want to make use of our extra power and use the sentry on this turn, but for some reason... So this will explode right here, correct? That is the thing that will happen. So what I'm thinking I'll do is we'll run around and we'll probably try to kill somebody first. Although the Valkyries aren't really the best to have around, we should probably maybe take out some of them. We'll see. I'll, well, hmm. Let's do this. We'll attack these three. I think I, I left out my fourth dash in favor of having a quicker shield recharge. So if we move back here behind this cover, I think we're going to be better off 
because for some reason I think my sentry will actually hit three guys. Yeah, so right here it hits all of them for some reason. Uh, it would be nice to have a crit, you know, maybe. Especially being powered up and all, but we'll see. We need to take this guy out in, at least within the next two and nice! They got honeyed. Sweet. Alright, next stop is probably, I would say, let's maybe go with Peach. I should probably use protection, but I think I'll wait. I'll use the royal gaze instead, depending on where I'm at, all things considered. Of course, the closer we are with our smack roll, the more damage we'll be able to do. And I'll be able to kill this guy, but that's all I'll be able to kill. Oh, there we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. How much is that? 200 at the most, whereas this will be, well, yeah, that seems kind of like the clear choice. All right, uh, let's do it. Adios, my gobble goose. My gobble goose, and with the critical burn, don't run into me so I run around like a madman, please. Nice. Okay, perfect. The only downside to that is now I don't think Mario can uh, attack anybody. So we'll go and pick up the spoils of war, and we'll run into this guy. I'm thinking, actually, should we hide back here or right here? Because what I'd like to do... Well, shoot, maybe I should hide over here. Here, let me jump off you. Here we go. So if I activate my royal gaze, I'll be able to hopefully hurt this guy, do some damage there. So we'll do that. Meanwhile, Mario can get in close and attack with his hammer, is what I'm thinking. That'll be my course of action, so let's try it. I don't think Bowser will move on this first turn, so um, it will purely be against those guys. Yeah, Bowser or Mario can't even reach these guys. Lovely. All right, well, let's get right up in there. And uh, here we go. Maybe I should have used my protection spell so that Mario doesn't get jacked up. <laughs> here we go. Oh, man. I was hoping for that crit, man. All right, that's good. Let's move on. See what happens. Mario, unsurprisingly, uh, wait, what? Oh, what? What did, what is happening? Okay. He got up to move and attack Mario that way? Oh, thanks for the burn, by the way. Thank you for getting me the heck out of dodge, man. All right. Um, works for me. Okay, so that's his villain shot right there, which means if I get burned, okay, it will probably activate it. So, he can't do a special thing, but now I'm getting burned, I'm gonna get attacked again. Oh, please, for the love of God. Did I get killed on the first turn, almost? <laughs> oh my God, that is bad, okay. Uh, we might need to rethink our strategy here for a minute, if that is gonna be our first move. Okay, well, first things first, we're gonna head on over here, I think, and probably make sure we survive, is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna hold off right here. I wonder, where can Peach jump? She can't quite reach. So Mario will actually need to help out here. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. This is, this is what I'm gonna do. I can't quite reach that guy. Although I can attack him. Oh, that was weird. It said 100, but I know why. We're gonna go over here. I am going to land right there. Hopefully take this guy out. Maybe if I'm right next to him, it'll help. <laughs> And I should probably heal, right? I should probably heal uh, Mario. I'm in range, so let's do it, 70%. <laughs> Plus with Peach's uh, healing jump, I'll be able to do um, the other thing. Nice. I'll be able to do even more, so... Oh, my lights just turned on all by themselves. Shocker. Okay, so I'm gonna have Mario hang out right here for a second. You wait there. Uh, so I can attack there, but we are going to do this instead. Boom. Jump and heal, man. Mario is in dire need of it. Please and thank you. Alright. We're good. 20% plus 70. Good as new, right? We're fine. I meant to do that. Uh, unfortunately, that's not quite gonna do it. Although, when he changes forms next turn, I'll be able to activate my other ability. My Hero Sight. Nice. Okay, we might actually take him out if we're lucky. So I'm not going to use protection this turn quite yet. But if I attack and get a critical, we'll be fine. 
If not, then, well, screw me, right? All right, here we go. Please, for the love of God, two turns to take out the first phase would be fantastic. No, it wasn't gonna happen. Damn. All right, well, I guess we'll be using one of our hero sites, but that's not the worst thing in the world, so. Oh, what the? Why are you doing that? Don't sing. Don't sing your song or, oh no. Please don't tell me you're not gonna move. And I get burned again. I get burned again. <laughs> Perfect. Story of Mario's life, apparently. And he's not gonna move this time. Jeez, Mario is getting his ass kicked. Oh, there's the critical. Perfect. All right, well, I guess we deserved it. <laughs> Okay, we might still be able to make this work if we're lucky. We attack that, and he's gonna go into his next phase, but I don't think it goes into effect until his next turn. So, uh, let's do it. Let's see what happens. And let's see how we can make it work to our advantage. Oh, great. All right, so now he's, uh, yeah, hitting us with lava from the top. Do love that. Um, perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see happen. So now we can't jump on him, although if I do this, now we can. All right, we'll be fine. I'll get as close up forward as I possibly can, probably around there. And uh, we'll just have to keep jumping around him. He's just a glutton for pain, he is. All right, we won't do that quite yet, but we'll also we'll probably go up here, get in a nice close attack, maybe from right here. There we go, certainly 100. Mario can do the same. I'm not gonna use my hammer on him quite yet. I don't think I can even reach. Like if I use this, I can still make it work, but we should be empowered for it, really. All right, cool, critical. Making up for all those missed hits. Now, go over here, I'll get in nice and close. And we'll see if we can maybe salvage the next turn because he's gonna start spawning more people. I thought he already would have done it, but let's uh, hope for the best. Yeah, Mario's not doing me any favors at all. <laughs> okay, just to be safe, shoot, I can't even do it. All right. Uh, well, if Mario gets hurt, then he gets hurt. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a big fuss about it. So he spawns, and now he's going towards this way. Perfect. All right. Uh, it's kind of why I wanted Luigi. Oh, and now he's doing this again. Okay. Well, the spots on the floor mean that we're going to get burned. And now I'm a little closer, actually. This works for me. Although, are his friends going to spawn? Yep, there they are. This is where it's going to get tricky. Um, but we also need to take into consideration. We need to stay as close to the outside of these indestructible walls as possible because once this facade goes down we're absolutely screwed um he's gonna have an ultimate move that will essentially kill us and if it hits um the only thing that can block it are those walls so i'm gonna go ahead we have one more turn for that i'm not too worried about it let's power ourselves up that worked out pretty well and now we'll have peach of the rabid capacity go do her little her little hops and bounces so we'll, we'll try one of these. And we need to be on the outside, so I might need to wait one extra turn. But we're already pretty, uh, pretty stretched. How far can this guy move? This buckler could totally kick my butt, no matter where I am on that side. So I might as well just come over here. Will he still be able to get me from there? Uh, no, we won't. So I'll just wait here. We'll see. I'll put up. Shoot, you know what? I should have used protect. This would have been a perfect time to use it. All right, well. Let's go ahead and activate this, just while we're here. Hope for the critical, uh, as always. Please? No, man, I'm getting the worst luck. <sighs> All right, Mario, Mario, Mario. We can, I don't know if we can use our hammer, is the thing. Uh, well, if I try this, then I jump, land on you. It probably isn't even worth it to try to use my hammer. We'll do this, boom. And, yeah, when he's over there, I, something tells me Hammer's not going to reach. So, let's go ahead and attack this guy right here. And I'm going to jump next to Mario if I can. Perfect, I'm still in range. 
Should have uh, seen that coming for a second. And we'll go on the other side here. Here we go. Healed, healed. Perfect. All right. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. This has been a rough round for Mario. <laughs> okay. And we'll shield up. Perfect. Now, uh, we can do a lot of damage here. Let's do it. And with no critical. That's fine. Now, Bowser's actually going to pull a fast one on us. And he occasionally, too, will decide that he wants to go to the other side of the arena. Surprise. But he also is going to do that again. Perfect. It can also hurt his friends. Or no, it can't. Friendly fire is off? Of course it is. Of course it is. Now I'm going to get killed. <laughs> Good thing my heal is coming back. Good God. Okay, so he's got defensive stuff now. He is now going to be taking some hits. Um, and their friendly fire might actually kill Bowser. <laughs> oh, great. Don't hurt your friend now. There you go. Yeah, you inked your friend. What's up with that? Yeah, it's chipping away at Bowser's health. <laughs> That's kind of amazing, actually. Oh, come on, Peach. Live. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, and now you're running. Oh my god, is Peach going to be the one that loses? It's going to be the one health. Oh, what? Hello. Uh. Okay. We might survive this yet. Okay, we need to play this very carefully. We need to all jump off of each other's heads at some point and land behind cover. First thing is first. I can't quite reach Mario. So we'll have to do something about that. So let's play this carefully. Who's the weakest over here? I can kill this one. So let's make sure we don't accidentally misclick. I had to switch Joy-Cons because of a drift on one caused me to land somewhere I really didn't want to be landing. I can't kill this guy. Not yet anyways. So that's fine. We'll do this. We'll land right there. Yeah, because I can't land on that other guy's head, which is fine. Now she can attack, which is good. That's fine. Now, in order to get Mario to be able to attack, we need to also do the same thing there. Uh, she didn't take any damage, so we're fine. Let's do our heal right here, right now. Just to be on the safe side. I will use her to launch off of Mario, I'm thinking. I can't reach anyone else, so we'll do this, and we'll land about right there. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to land behind that other one, maybe attack with Peach, Call it good. So, yeah, this might be my best move for now. And remember, um, although you probably are thinking you want to take these guys out, it might not necessarily help in the way you think it will. So unfortunately, we don't even need to really heal anyone else up, so we're fine. I'll run in you, do this, and we'll try this out. There we go. Okay. Now with Peach, since she's a little bit weaker, we're going to use her to attack Bowser. Although what we could do... Okay, cool. No one actually gets hurt from that. Not even the guy I'm aiming at. What I want to do is maybe just take him out, you know? That's not... Actually, I cannot kill him unless I get a critical. Shocker. Well, I can also reach from here. Cool. Well, let me attack this guy to get him out of the way. He's He can honey us. Which here is not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but we'll also be able to do damage to Bowser and get rid of this guy at the same time. So, let's do that and hope to God it's enough to maybe do something over there, maybe. Oh, Mario can attack. Nobody. Okay. Well, that certainly helped. Alternatively, uh, to finish him, I could also do something dumb like this. I at least hurt this guy dole out some damage and be able to take him out, but let's save it. Let's, let's save it for another instance where it might be important. This will kill, so... Whew. Sorry, guys. I'm really nervous. Because at the end of this second phase, he regenerates and does his ultimate technique. And this one's gonna hurt if you're not behind cover. So here we go. So, wow. All right. Ah. Oh, he's got the Mega Shield. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Also, I was in the middle of a drink. So we'll go for this and hope we'll be able to activate that. 
Mario can't really do much when he's in that shield. Can't hurt him, can't do anything, so sure. We'll take a shot. Yeah, now I get the critical. Shocker. But the second he gets out of that, um, we're in trouble, and it's his turn. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Mega Shell. When he hit me with this, it did 1,000 damage. So you definitely need to be behind this cover, because now it seems though he is going to be uh, in a bit of trouble there. So, golden shot, nice, lovely. And hopefully Peach can do this, nice. Hurt Bowser, who's in a daze. Nice, and the critical. Oh, are you gonna hurt Bowser? Yes, he is. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Okay, now we've got smashers to deal with. Okay, if we play our cards right, we can take his ass out now. So, let's go ahead and obviously activate this. I am gonna go ahead with Peach. I can just attack straight on, probably. So, that is going to just be good. Uh, the only problem with this is that she is going to be putting herself at the scrutiny of these other guys. Which is not good. Uh, so we should probably just do it on the one. Hope we can freeze. How close will he get? Okay, so he can't quite hurt Peach. Which is fine. So let's do this. And hope that it works. Nice! Peach hitting him out of the park with the crits. Good god. Okay. Now we can still move, actually. That's very good for us. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Shoot, I don't really need to jump. Let's go over here. Let's hopefully try to take this guy out. And I'm going to head back over here and at least maybe kind of just hang out here for a second. All right, that's a good idea. And I'm going to use my empowerment. Hopefully that'll help. I'm certainly hoping it will. All right, here we go. Protection. I don't know why I called it empowerment. Lady power. Perfect. Now, we can do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, maybe, oh, there has to be a way I can get like some of these guys, like, that's probably my closest, but right there, his foot is gonna hurt me, and uh, you know what, it's gonna be orange either way. I might as well, might as well jump. There we go, nice. All right, and another critical, okay. All right, this might actually work out for us yet. I'm gonna go and shield up, just to be on the safe side. And I wish I could dash into these guys, I really do. I'm just gonna run into this one. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hang out right here. Maybe, no. We should just come back to the same spot. That'd be good. Now, this is where Mario is now officially gonna have to do a power play. We're gonna jump off of, man, he really, does not get any running distance. Yeah, I can't even do anything. All right, we'll do this. Same thing as before, but we're gonna hit with our hammer. Hit with the hammer slammer. Now, the only thing that I hope he doesn't do is put up his shield, but if I get the critical, <laughs> we win the game. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Mario, buddy, let's do it. Yes! Yeah, yeah, maybe just a little bit there, Junior. Uh, I just hope this has taught you a lesson. Taught us all a lesson, really. We ought not to meddle with powerful forces beyond our understanding. Yada yada, Yoshi is just standing there. He has no idea what's going on. 
grab Yoshi even less. Huh. Well, can't promise that I'll be good forever, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Uh, yeah, all right, sure. Thanks, intern over at Ubisoft for writing the dialogue for this game. Specifically, Bowser Jr. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to take my lumps when he wakes up. What is that supposed to mean? Are you okay? Show me on the doll where Bowser touches you. <laughs> yeah, well, no. <laughs> Attempting offer. Alas, we must return to Princess Peach's castle to let everyone know that the threat of the Mushroom Kingdom has passed. Oh, look, the princess is right behind us. <laughs> oh, man. How did we do that? <laughs> Until next time. Well, we did it under par. It was a perfect performance, which means we 100%ed the game as far as pars are concerned. We win. Da -na 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 -na. We beat Bowser's castle perfectly. Ooh, that is a lot of money. But that's a good thing. And also why I spent uh, basically most of a three-hour car ride just more or less grinding for coins because check it out. Team rank up and 36 new weapons. Plus uh, 10 lava pit challenges that we'll be able to complete. This is by far and away not even close to the last video you'll be seeing of this series. Plus uh, the same splash screen we've seen multiple times before. I still have not been able to convince Sarah to play with me, but she is not completely opposed to it. I think she thinks she's above the concept of rapids, but there we have it. Whew. Now for the ending. Oh, <laughs> cute. That was a little bit janky, but um, that is Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really highly implore you to seek this game out and buy it because this has been one of those rare titles, and I don't mean that because <laughs> never mind. You you get you get the the joke, but um, yeah, this is like a first party Nintendo title that gets discounted very frequently. I think. Hmm, I've seen that at like $20, just like pretty consistently. And it's just, it's one of those ones that obviously we're here at almost, I wouldn't say 100 videos, but maybe 90. And it's just, it's offered so much replayability and it's just charming and the music is fantastic. It's very fun for being what many would consider a quote unquote entry level tactics game, which is very... It's not far from the mark, but in my opinion, I think it's just challenging enough to be fun. Uh, some of the parts that I wasn't a big fan of was uh, even jankier uh, transitions to other songs, apparently. Um, some parts that I could have done without would have been like the overworld navigating or having to come back and do ultra challenges after you get better weapons. I would just have rather it have been a little bit more consistent in that sense, but um, I had a ton of fun with this. It's great on the Switch, just on the go. It's perfect. You put in sleep mode, pick back up right where you started. It's great. Um, I will not stop singing its praises because it has yet to really disappoint me all that much. Although I did obviously get a little burned out on it, but. I think that's just because I was playing other things at the time and suffering from work related depression and things like that. And it's kind of hard to, you know, maintain that steady outflow of content when you're feeling like you want to jump off the roof of your house. But that's okay because we're here, we're at the end, and there's still plenty to go. We're happy and life is good. This is going to be a long finale. I don't think I'm going to cut this in half. I think I'm just going to let it be its own video and then you guys can decide whether or not you want to watch it, which, you know, I already know what your answer is, but man, another pretty long project in the bag, and this last section of it shouldn't take long. Now, if I do decide to do the co-op challenges and the versus challenges and eventually the Donkey Kong challenges, we're just going to pick right back up where we started, but much like some of the other projects on the channel, uh, maybe we'll just take a, like a break and upload another project after you know we finish off the lava pit and the rest of the spooky trails which i think we only have 
two challenges plus the two ultra challenges but uh overall it's really not a whole lot else going on in this game i don't remember the lava pit challenges i might have mentioned this a few times but after i beat the game i didn't really go back to it <laughs> i was just like all right that's fun i i think i got it i don't need to keep on going it's it's fine um so this will more or less be blind going here on out but um in the next video i will be spending a little bit of time backtracking to i think the ancient gardens and picking up a quick chest that i missed before and amongst other things finishing off the spooky trails so all be fun oh look at him. he's so happy and his little snaggle tooth anyways welcome to the credits of a ubisoft game notorious for being unskippable and long as all hell so i don't know if i can even like i can't skip so i guess we're just gonna sit here and hang out for a while welcome how's it going i'm actually surprised you're still here, to be completely honest. At this point, I would have just shut the damn thing off and left for home, you know? There's nothing else here. These are the ending credits, and hello! Thank you, skip button, for just magically showing up. Um, I guess we probably should. These credits are going very slowly. If there were, like, two lines going at the same time, then I think we'd be a little bit better off, but... No. They would rather torture us than, uh, you know allow us to see the German version Ubisoft GmbH or the Italian version Synthesis or Mattia Ravinelli or the proofreader there was only one person who proofread this game yeah all of these names of people who are way cooler than me even all correct is cooler than me huh oh but in Russian they had two proofreaders Anastasia Krzyzewskaya Something like that. I don't know. I'm going to stop embarrassing myself and... Hello? Um, this is new. Oh, it's the washing machine. If ever a single appliance in all of history has caused more trouble for more people, I'd like to hear about it. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, oh, wait, wait a moment, uh, history? I could use this time machine to help our past selves rescue Spawny and save the Mushroom Kingdom more easily. You mean more easily than we did the first time? Wait, what if I did that already? What if your biggest fan was me the whole time? Hmm, you don't say. <laughs> what kind of an insecure egomaniac would lavish that much praise on themselves? Uh, well... <laughs> So maybe I should forward those messages to my past self just in case. Here we go. Dearest Beepo, whose bravery, intelligence, and compassion... Uh, oh, yeah, I'll just copy the rest. There we go. If my timing is correct, you're in dire need of help. Yeah. Okay. Don't confuse yourself. Haha, <laughs> FB that doesn't stand for Facebook. Or that other one. Yeah, future Beepo. Definitely not going to, you know, confuse anyone. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, almost forgot the attachments. Our level one guns. Yeah. About that. <laughs> Why not just give them the ones that we just we just bought or you know. The ones we're about to switch out. Hmm. On second thought, perhaps I should leave well enough alone. Huh. Yeah, no kidding. But you seem to have done that without a second thought, so. Huh. Alright. Oh, well, there we have it. All the loose ends have been tied. What could possibly go wrong? Well, don't ask me. 